Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 6th of 2021, well, it is titled Perseverance Takes a Spin. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by one of the cameras on the Perseverance rover. And you can see a portion of the rover there in the foreground down towards the lower left. And off above that, you can actually see some of the tracks made by the wheels of the rover as it went through its very first maneuver on the surface of Mars. Now it was a very a short thing while taking only about a half an hour. And it was able to move forward, make a turn and then back up. So it was just a quick test of all of the equipment, make sure that everything was functioning properly. So of course, we wanted to have the rover be able to move, turn and then go backwards, certainly things that it will be doing over the course of its extended mission on Mars. So what uh, future missions this one it traveled about 20 feet uh, in the future it'll be travel may be able to travel hundreds of feet at a time or on a day so it will be able to travel larger distances and the reason that we like having rovers is that they give us a chance to be able to uh, extend extend our reach on the surface of Mars. So originally we've had things like aircraft that flew by and were able to take images just as they passed. In other cases, we were able to go into orbit and then finally land on the surface of Mars. But even on those cases, you could only reach as far as your mechanism. So if you had a robotic arm that could reach out a few feet, that was as far as you could reach and anything else was beyond your access. So you could see it or photograph it, but you couldn't actually get a sample. And now we have rovers which have traveled many miles on Mars and been able to explore a wider range. Certainly they're not going to help us explore the entire planet. There's simply too much of it and just a few rovers. In fact, just two rovers there currently. So you can't begin to explore the whole surface of the of the planet like this. But you can certainly look at specific areas and try to better understand them and give us a better understanding of the red planet. And of course, some of the things we're looking for are the possibility of life since we know that water did exist on Mars in the past, and especially in the crater which in, with with the in which perseverance landed. So we know that water existed here in the past. And that leads us to look maybe digging under the surface we will be able to find perhaps even fossilized remnants of very simple organisms that might have once existed on Mars. And of course, we also want to understand Mars to help us better understand our own planet. So trying to learn things about another planet often tells us a lot about our own Earth and helps us to better understand how Earth works. So that was our picture of the day for March the 6th of 2021. It was titled Perseverance Takes a Spin. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Stellar Nursery in Infrared. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.